So, patient in supine position, you have to prep and uh, type from the uh, anterior superior leg spine to the uh, exposing the whole of the knee. Okay, then this is a landmark. You uh, pile, uh, this is the anterior superior leg spine, any marker, and uh, this is the anatomical position. Okay, this is the lateral and upper pole of, pole of the patella. So draw a line from here to here. This is the line. You have to find out the midpoint. Uh, how, how will take the uh, midpoint? Or any any bandage or something there? Nothing is there. Okay. Uh, that goes piece, take that goes piece. That goes piece, eh? take that goes piece. Okay. Will it come? I will take one more. Uh, what I use, I use a roller bandage uh, to uh, measure the midpoint and we can tie these gauze pieces together and you can see. So, okay. Keep it in an anatomical position. Okay. okay. So, uh, this is the length. The, this this will be the midpoint. So, uh, this is the center. Mark the center. This is the center. And you draw a 3 centimeter, approximately 3 centimeter. Okay? Okay. And the perforators coming, the, this area will be, the maximum number of perforators will be here. Suppose you get a perforator above this line, most of the time it will be septocutaneous and the below this line most of the time it will be musculocutaneous okay after marking um, you have to uh, draw um, uh, take the defect suppose uh, this is the defect what is the defect here suppose this is the defect you know reverse planning everything you know you know uh, we have to uh, take a pattern of the defect, okay? Pattern, suppose this is a defect, and uh, we have to transfer the defect into the uh, donor site, okay? Donor site, and suppose this is the perforator. Here you get the perforator. Suppose this is a perforator. I will center on this perforator. I will transfer the defect here okay transfer the defect and uh, the size of the flap should be you should take little more wider otherwise uh, after ready may everything comes it, it won't uh, fit into the it will be inadequate for the defect and it will be uh, too tight and that may be the reason for flap failure so it should be uh, a little more wider and uh, at the pedicle site I will usually include a little more area to make a tongue so that it will cover the uh, pedicle without any tension. And uh, I suppose this is the this, okay. Okay. Uh, usually, um, um, the, the resection is started from the medial to medial to lateral side. Then. Um, I will start in season. I will come on that side and I will do. I will sit. I will stool it again. Stool, please. You want um, uh, subfacial or superficial decision? Subfacial. Okay. So, this is the, I am taking little more, okay.
so uh, this is the site of the pedicle from this, this dissection um, you can use either monopolar cautery or a, a sharp dissection uh, up to this uh, till you reach the uh, perforator you can go a little bit fast and whatever minor perforator is coming you can ligate or coagulate so the superficial fascia skin superficial fascia So I read the okay. Uh, anything to Alice for so so The advantage of uh, sub, uh, subfacial dissection is that you can see the anatomy very well. You can recognize which is um, uh, um, rectus femoris. Uh, rectus femoris usually it is forces can be given. Forces, please. So suppose this is a uh, the, uh, this is a perforator. So I will usually dissect I, uh, away from the perforator so that I will not injure the perforator. Start dissecting down. And let us see the anatomy and we can dissect. Okay. So this dissection you can do uh, in a top uh, with a fast gear. The vastus medialis, okay. Oh. So, uh, the, when you dissect, you can um, small uh, perforators will come to the face your skin that you have to coagulate. Okay, you have sisters here. So, okay. Can go down, and we can see the. Any lights is on there? The rectus. Can you see the rectus? Okay. Once you read the rectus, you should be very careful because there is a chance of injuring the pedicle. Perforate, I mean, perforate. Then uh, this much I go very fast with the uh, monopolar or uh, usually monopolar. Uh, once I read the septum, I use scissors. Maybe it's opening the blades. Usually fine uh, scissors is used. Okay, very perfect. But it is not perfect. Okay. 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 Gently split open. Split open. Split open. Split open. Very, very careful. This area you have to go in uh, slow gear, fast gear. You have to use fast gear. Very slowly you have to see. This, once you find out the perfect, it will be easy. Somebody can uh, put a LED light on the uh, mobile. With the mobile, a torch or something. Uh, okay. Kiran, where is Kiran? Kiran, uh, can you put the torch and put the light? 
so far i have not made any injury to the perforator so ah oh, that is it another way is suppose you are um, difficult to find out the uh, uh, perforator you can go directly to the clearing pedicle uh, this uh, descending branch is a view on one view opening the septum here mm-hmm. if you can see can see if you if you injure the uh, perforator you can go uh, proximally and there will be definite perforator going from the tensor fascia lata this is like what This is the parent pedicle. Okay, you can see something here. But we didn't cut anything, there is no bleeding. So, you can for in such situation the one way is you, uh, you can op- split open between the rectus this is rectus the vastus lateralis you can see the pedicle you can follow the pedicle proximally and then you will see a perforator and based on that perforator nothing there you get cut here mm-hmm. so that is uh, the the first you should not fully put the incision sometimes you have to um, um uh, re to uh, retro the your uh, pattern so once you uh, find the perforator you have to base on that then you can draw uh, the pattern okay nice please sector i'm um, reflecting the rectus femoris going proximally because the usual area i couldn't get a perforator so there is something here we let us see that may be the uh, kiran light please kiran this is so this this is this is uh, this is perfect uh, this is going uh, okay okay uh, this is this is parent pedicle this is parent pedicle okay so this is parent pedicle okay okay let us see 
any, any so so we can expose the pedicle and see the perforator going to the muscle. Okay. So, any, any any sharp scissors, nothing is there. And then the sleek scissors and that. Uh, you can see the muscular cutin perforator here. Okay, then. this is this one, this one, this one, okay. This is the parent particle, okay. So, you can see perforator here, here. You see, in this case, this is a muscular cutaneous, okay. So, what you have to uh, use a fine scissors, split open, use bipolar pottery, cut the muscle, okay. You can see here. Okay, so okay, okay, tor tor okay, like so confirm that uh, torsion here, 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 okay, open. Open, split open, coagulate, cut. Split open, coagulate, cut. So it, it, it will be somewhere else. We can just see. Okay, here. Okay, so. So it will be very easy uh, uh, because if it is a cadaver, that may be the reason. Other thing. So expose the lay, open the muscle like this with a uh, split open, uh, coagulate, then follow the pedicle till it reaches the. So open like this, open like this, open like this, open like this. Like this, you can see it's going into the uh, okay, open. Then, uh, okay, then uh, uh, when you, uh, you can include a, uh, a cuff of muscle uh, posterior to the, this perforator so that uh, there won't be any twisting of the perforator. You have to include, when you decide free the perforator, you can include a cuff of muscle along the perforator. So, we know that that is the posterior part of the perforator. You can place it in such a way that there won't be any twist. Initial cases when uh, I started uh, this, um, uh, doing ALT flap in 2000. Two, a few cases uh, of the flap failure was there because there was twisting. Then uh, uh, I found out that it's supposed to use the this cuff of muscle, the twisting will be will not be there. And you can see there is another perforator also going to the uh, to this area. Uh, suppose there are two perforators, uh, uh, you can clamp one perforator. Suppose you want to. Uh, you, know, you need a large area, you can include two perforators. So only the dissection will be little tedious. If, you, if the flap is very uh, is reasonably small, uh, suppose you want to sacrifice the one perforator, you can put a... Okay. Torch please, is small. So, with the bipolar pottery, you can free the margins of the 
uh, this area and here also are this curve this file is valid okay open sorry this okay let us see the entry of okay this situation we can include a cuff of i am not going to delineate the perforator but we can cut out very just getting okay so okay 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 I will take a cuff muscle because uh, it is in cadaver it is difficult to delineate and uh, uh, to show the entry of the perforator. It is going into the correct position. Okay, then uh, complete the uh, that position from there. Once you have found uh, found out the pedicle, then complete the uh, incision. Dissect the flap from proximal to distal. This is the tibial tract there. Facial lateral, we cut the facial lateral fully. Okay, okay, cut, 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 cut like this. Fully. Entry. This is site of entry is here. You can see the perforator going there. Here, no, here, no, no. This entry here. Then proximal to distal, you go. Uh, you can uh, with a reasonable speed, you can dissect. Okay. 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 Uh, not much error. Okay. okay. Then here also. So the so the per entry perfect entry. Okay. Okay. So like this. Like this. So flat. Like this. So flat. Okay. Okay. Good. So I am taking a bunch of muscle with with the perforator. Okay, this is pretty good. Now it is a myocutaneous now, not taking a septocutaneous flap. Okay. If you include a cuff of muscle like this, uh, it shows that it will survive. Okay. 
you can see another perforated there. Suppose you want to take a large dimension, you can include cuff of muscle and so many perforated, many perforated can be included. So you can make sure that it will survive. Okay. You should be very careful, you should not uh, injure the pedicle while you uh, include the muscle. That's the only thing. You can see this is a parent pedicle, this is a uh, descending branch. You can uh, you have to cut uh, distally here. There will be two veins will be there and one artery. And uh, I usually anastomose only one vein because the, uh, the blood retaining will be, the, uh, the pressure will be less. If you connect one vein, the venous pressure will be more on the connecting vein. Suppose you connect the both veins, uh, there is stands, uh, flow will be sluggish and there is chance of thrombosis. So, then uh, suppose you want to do a uh, uh, flow through flap, this can be connected to the uh, cut end of the other artery, second end loss is there, and other end can be connected. So, there we can establish the flow to the uh, limb if there is any, any compromise vascularity. So, so here, mm -hmm. so, so, so another muscular branch to the rectus uh, that we can cut, cut and coagulate, coagulate, coagulate. So, the flap is ready uh, for uh, for detaching and anastomosis. So if you want a long uh, pedicle length, you can go approximately uh, up to uh, a 16, uh, average of a 16 centimeters can be uh, pedicle length. So that is another advantage of this flap. And uh, this is a perforator. Suppose you injure the other perforators, suppose uh, this perforator will be constantly present. If suppose there is no perforator there, this is perforator uh, C uh, through the uh, tensor fascia later. Suppose you injure, there is no, uh, if you injure this perforator, definitely there will be one perforator here. So you can uh, raise the flap based on this perforator. So only thing you should, uh, initially you should cut on the medial side, don't take a full uh, uh, incision should not be made. That's the only thing. So. So you can detach and uh, suppose this is a pedicle flap, you can bring uh, to grow in suppose of a radical lymph node dissection, suppose there is some problem, you can um, bring it to this area or the abnormal defect you can bring here, that is the thing. Another uh, flap is uh, you can um, take a reverse flow re um, LT flap based on this uh, supralateral genicular branch there is a communication. 10 centimeter above the uh, patellar border that you can use as a reverse flow ALT also. And another, suppose there is a, uh, here the uh, reconstruction around the knee joint, uh, suppose there is no pedicle, for this area of reconstruction, uh, we will not get a recipient pedicle, this pedicle can be flipped down, the uh, artery can be flipped down and brought it here for, as a, uh, for a recipient artery. And you can use the greatest of venous vein for uh, anastomosis with the vein in uh, this upper, upper upper third defect of the leg. So the flap dissection is over. This is, I included, a, you can also include, a, it will be very difficult to delineate the perforator in the cadaver. So better to include a cuff of muscle also. Be sure it will be there. Okay, thank you.